Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the costs associated with obtaining a K-1 visa. After hours of research, AI and I decided to consult a visa agency. We have decided to utilize the enhanced visa services in Cebu. The first consultation was provided at no charge, but the total cost for the services they provided was about 2000 It was quite expensive. I know many of you are familiar with the standard application fee, but there are various additional costs to take into account. This video aims to provide a comprehensive overview of the expenses you might encounter, whether you're just starting or are already in the process of obtaining your K-1 visa. We will also outline the complete expenses involved in the visa application process, providing a step-by-step -step breakdown to help you plan accordingly. Let's dive into the details. Visa-related costs. Professional fee, $2,000. This is the fee that the agency charged us to assist with the application. Application fee, the K-1 visa application fee is currently 535, though this amount may change in the future. The courier was fee 50 thrai. This, this was uh, to ensure that the paperwork was uh, sent here so I could file for our K-1 visa in the United States. Cinemar costs $4 and certifies that you are not married. MBI certificate costs $3 and can be used for travel, abroad, or multi-purpose reasons. A flight to the Philippines was necessary to prove the legitimacy of our relationship, requiring photos and time together, costing around $1,500. Photos, it is recommended to have passport style photos professionally taken to meet USCIS specifications. We paid about $20 each time and we needed them four times totaling $80. And this is because it is for my fiance and her son so we paid double the normal amount. Medical check. This was one of our biggest expenses. The cost of the designated health check is approximately $680. This is not your typical cost. Since both of them needed the medical procedure, the fees were doubled. The standard fee for the medical is $340. The cost of the original PSA birth certificate and baptismal certificate in Cebu is $8. CFO seminar, $4.46. Under the law, Filipino immigrants, a Tokyo to immigrants who are leaving to settle permanently abroad are required to register with the CFO and obtain certificates that they attended the commission's pre-departure orientation seminar or peer counseling sessions. Travel expenses for the interview may require traveling to a specific embassy based on your location. AI had to travel back and forth between Cebu and Manila for the health screening required for the embassy interview. The cost for flights and accommodation totaled about $350. Shipping documents. I used FedEx to dispatch documents to the Philippines costing me approximately $112. This was for sending the original divorce decrees for embassy interviews. A one-way ticket for two to the U.S. cost us about $1,500. Adding them up, the total cost was around $5,480. Please keep in mind that this is only for the visa. Post-arrival costs. We've decided on a simple downtown wedding that will cost us approximately $200. Adjustment of status, AOS fee. The application fee for adjustment of status, AOS, is $1,440 each. The mailing fees for the AOS application cost around $45.
These expenses add $16.85, bringing the total to about $7,165. It's crucial to be financially prepared for this journey, as you'll also need to support yourself until you receive your work authorization, which can take 6 to 12 months. Twelve. Budgeting for these expenses early on will save headaches and help you focus on your relationship. We overlooked this aspect when we commenced our visa process in 2022, which was approved in 2024. Make sure to check the updated prices on the USCIS website. Feel free to ask any questions or make requests in the comments section. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos.